a that girl morning routine first i'm making my bed can we appreciate how aesthetic this looks by the way like time to hydrate now i'm brushing my teeth i like to work out at night but i guess this makes sense here we go oh, time to shower this is hard i need more time lotion why does my leg look like a corn dog I'm filming a beauty room tour for my youtube channel and i'm barely gonna be in the video so i'm wearing comfy clothes I usually don't eat breakfast <laughs> I made eggs, toast, honey, and bananas. Did you hear that? It sounds like that girl's about to eat her breakfast. Now I'm gonna do my skincare. Wash and tone. Hyaluronic acid and eye cream. Moisturize and SPF. I'm almost out. Now I'm gonna plan out my day. Yay, I did it! Next step, that girl nails. This, uh, we're gonna watch this YouTuber's name right here, and I'll pop her name up right here. Can't say it because it's too hard to say. All right, here we go. Now that you understand what that girl is. So, that girl content makes you feel like shit. Why? Because it's unattainable. Ta da! That girl's not real. She's unattainable. Just like all of the other stuff on the internet. They trick you into thinking it's attainable because it's the future you. And they have her doing things that you could be doing, but that's where it differs from our usual content. Instead of traveling and modeling and blah, 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 whatever they used to do, they're now glamorizing our everyday lives to make it seem attainable. I can wake up at 5 a.m. I can drink a green juice. I can go to Pilates every day. I'm going to stop it right there. Let's go ahead and look up what that girl is. Okay. Now, when we go to the beautiful, loving world of Urban Dictionary, probably written by scholars. <clears throat> so, we already know it's true. You know, Urban Dictionary is the modern day um, dictionary. <clears throat> that girl, known mostly as TikTok, that girl is a... This is, that girl is a girl or any gender that gets up at 5 a.m., meditates, drinks smoothies, has showers every day, journaling, eating only healthy food, goes to the gym every day, and is successful in many ways. This stereotype is typically on TikTok and films morning or night routines, most likely rich too. Example, I want to be that girl. Another example, my goals in life is to be that girl. Another example, oh, so you think you're that girl. This was put up June 19th of 2021 by Miss Pyramid Head One. 421 upvotes, 400, I mean, 43 downvotes. Okay, so that girl is pretty much manifestation girl. That's pretty much what that girl is. It's what we know today as girl bosses. It's what we know today as um, a bad B, okay? But it's just seen in a different way. It's supposed to be more aesthetically pleasing. You wake up, you work out, your boyfriend kisses you in the morning, and it's a beautiful day. I, I don't see a whole lot of husbands in these, but you know how it goes, okay? So let's continue. And technically, I can, and you can, but all that it's really going to change is your bowel habits, they make it seem like these little changes are transformational. If you do these things, you'll be transformed. You'll be skinny. You'll be rich. Your skin will glow. You'll find the man. And that's just not the case. These small habits are a checklist. Simply habit habits. Okay, so based off what I've seen off of that girl, this, this woman right here is saying that it's a scam. But what I can see from that girl, and I've watched more videos about it, and it does seem more like a manifestation thing, but at the same time, do I think getting at five, at, see, getting up at five o'clock in the morning, it doesn't really matter. The time is relevant. Obviously, if you work till 11 at night, then getting at five doesn't really make sense. Okay, and getting up early is so relative. I don't know what you comparison you can make. I would say whenever you get your right amount of sleep, get up then, you know? Um, I don't think you should be sleeping over. I don't think you need to just lay. See, when I think about getting up, I mean, just that means just not laying in the bed all day, right? 
So to get up early, let's say you do get off at five eight five at five in the afternoon, whatever. Yeah, I think you can get up at five six, get a nice little workout in. But as far as the making a smoothie, getting healthy, doing your hair, and kissing your boyfriend and looking fresh, all that's a facade. But we understand that all that that girl is a facade. Now. The deeper meaning for me in this video is, and we're going to continue here, but the bigger meaning to me when I watch these videos about being that girl, being a girl boss, being that B, is that most women can't obtain it because what it's really based off is if you're not making six figures, you're probably not going to be considered any of that. You know, it's the same thing that men do. We're called alpha, alpha male, that kind of stuff, right? It's the same concept. If you don't hit six figures, then you're not completing that life. Um, or if you ain't got a beautiful boyfriend. It's like for women, it's the beautiful boyfriend in there thrown in there as well. Um, so I want to say this. It's not going to be, she's right that I do believe it's not going to be obtainable for most people but not necessarily because it's a scam but that's because most people won't do it listen i'm a man who's overweight and all this stuff and i want to say this being disciplined is a hard thing eating right is a hard thing working out every day is a hard thing to put yourself and make you do those things is tough so if we're just taking the, the um, wealthy part out of it and just making it a discipline thing most people won't be able to do it but that part i don't believe is a scam but most people can't do it anyway it's not even something to worry about because most people can't wake up and work out and do these things and have that discipline in their life. When I mean, people don't understand that when it comes to discipline, even with that, that girl is showing discipline leads to more freedom. The more you work out, the more stuff you'll be able to do, the more, the more shots you'll get, the more opportunities you'll get. When you're in shape, you'll be able to do more things. Even if that's just more walking around, playing around, hiking, doing stuff with friends, stuff like that. You'll be able to do more of that because you keep your body in fit shape, right? And you'll get more opportunities and you'll be able to help more people in that category, right? If every morning you get up and eat healthy, yes, then you'll be able to teach other people that same stuff. If every morning you get up, you do some kind of routine, which is stretching or something like that, journaling. And for us, other people that may be doing it by video, doesn't matter. It's still something that can help you in the future because the beautiful thing when it comes to discipline is even when you get, uh, let's say you get popular, let's say you get famous, you, you will be able to... Um, get into a routine and be able to keep this up as your career goes on. I think what some people misunderstand is when you do get popular, you do get famous per se, when you do start getting a busy life, that somehow it's kind of a free for all. You can get up at 11 o'clock at night. All right, or you can get up at three o'clock in the afternoon and just get to your life because you have money. No, you're going to have a routine. You may have to get up at five in the morning every morning to go to a movie set. You may have to get up at five in the morning and then the next night, the next day, get up. You have a movie set that's at 11, uh, 11 p.m. because it's a night shot. There's going to be times where you get scheduled for shoots. There's going to be time where you need to be here for this interview. You need to be doing that. You need to be doing this. Even hell, YouTubers who are gamers, as much as it may seem that a lot of these gamers don't have a routine, they do. If they're going to be sitting on stream for eight, hours you need to have a schedule okay you're not just waking up at some random time you're like okay i have to get up and i need to be ready for this and i need to have already showered eaten and all this kind of stuff so i can get prepared for this eight hour stream that most people are waiting for me to see so i do think it's important to develop some kind of routine and a discipline because it will help you in the long run when she says it's a scam i just don't know if i can ride with that exactly the same in all of these videos they wake up at five they journal, they read, they meditate, they drink a smoothie, they go do Pilates, they come back, they clean their super aesthetically pleasing apartment, blah, blah, blah. You know, it's all the same. And at the end of the day, it's their aesthetic. It's their lifestyle. It's them. And I guess that's the whole point of this video is that you shouldn't feel bad if that aesthetic isn't yours, if that lifestyle doesn't work for you, if it's not possible for you to do the things that they are doing. That's like most of the population. We can't do that. See, that, really, I, once again, I disagree. Like you can have, look, at, I'm not rich. I'm not wealthy at any, at any point, but y'all see that right there. That's part of my aesthetic, right? Every time I start a stream, I have that aesthetic. That's not $500 worth of stuff. That's a candle next to cologne. Right. The other aesthetic, this hand, this, this right here, this, uh, I don't know why she's over here, baby girl. Why are you, why are you, why are you trying to be shy today? This aesthetic right here, right? Having this, I have moved up my aesthetics. When you watch my films, that, that picture in there, not being part of the aesthetic, but that's y'all know what that represents. But nonetheless, having that aesthetic, the fireplace going on behind the hand, those are all aesthetics. You know what I mean? But that's, this is something anybody can obtain. 
but it's not a false life. Anybody, I mean, I don't spend a lot of money. Now, the, now somebody, some people may say I spend too much, like this hat and my other hats may seem expensive to you if you're used to buying a $5 hat, but it is part of my aesthetic. However, these ties and everything, they're not that expensive. I, I live an average life. So I do believe you can do that and still look well. It, your aesthetic is what your aesthetic is. Most people you see will not wear a hat like I do. I don't see any YouTubers wear a flat brim for doors. In fact, when I was wearing a normal fedora, uh, short brim fedoras, nobody, nobody, uh, I didn't see anybody doing that either. And I always got told that I was a, a what did you call them, pickup artist, right? But it was my aesthetic, and now I've moved over to flat brims, right? Because I enjoy the aesthetic. I'm just saying it's not like, if you pick your own aesthetic, it's not obtainable. What those girls are doing in those videos Yes, it is a facade, right? You're not going to wake up every morning and kiss your boyfriend, but what what other kind of video do you need to make? It doesn't have to be that normal. Nobody wants to really see somebody get up and go, you know, get up out of bed and go, all right, guys, let's go ahead and get ready for the day. I mean, nobody wants to see that. Nobody wants to see somebody work up normally. Nobody wants to ha see them have an argument with their boyfriend in the morning and be like, hey, why the hell didn't you do this last night? You nobody want that's that's normal life. That's mundane. But there's nothing wrong with making a video that's aesthetically pleasing. I don't think that's a scam. The same in all of these videos. They wake up at five, they journal, they read, they meditate. They drink a smoothie, they go do Pilates, they come back, they clean their super aesthetically pleasing apartment, blah, blah, blah. You know, it's all the same. And at the end of the day, it's their aesthetic. It's their lifestyle. It's them. And I guess- Look at, that. Look at your aesthetic, by the way. Look at your background. Even though you got, you know, obviously you don't, you don't have the best lighting right now, but look at your aesthetics. All this stuff here in the back, that is organized. You have your little cat things here, your blinds, your, your pink little cup here. This is still an aesthetic that you're going for. Even your hair, the way it's styled, those are all aesthetics that somebody might think, and I think is obtainable because they live in a studio apartment and they got one desk, you know what I'm saying? And a bed and a couch, you know what I'm saying? And so I don't, I, I was just confused when you say it's unobtainable. Even your videos are somewhat of an aesthetic. The whole point of this video is that you shouldn't feel bad if that aesthetic isn't yours. If that lifestyle doesn't work for you. If it's not possible for you to do the things that they are doing. That's like most of the population. We can't do that. And really, all you're seeing is little tiny aesthetically pleasing snippets of their day, yeah. or week, or month, or whatever it is. And they're portraying it as their whole lifestyle. They're saying, oh, my entire lifestyle is just as nice as these little selected snippets that I've taken that look nice. You know what's so crazy about that, ma'am? Is it could be. There are some people in this world that their life is... Not necessarily like that snippet you're seeing all day, but their life may be that discipline. They may really do those things every morning, right? I mean, and they may really keep their apartment clean. There are some people in this world, for example, you know, I'm not the cleanest person on the planet. I know I'm not. I try to get better about it, and I've been trying to do better about staying much, much cleaner. Not that I say I'm a filthy person, but I'm not necessarily the most aesthetically pleasing person when it comes to cleaning. My wife, on the other hand, cleans every day, every day. When she gets off work, she comes right home and immediately cleans the house. She's been that way. I, I have never, I, it's not something I've even instilled in her. It's not like something I've asked. She's done that since she was a child. That's just how she was taught. So if you were to come into my own house and see my house most days, it would seem as if it's fake because how clean my house is. But it's true. It, it, that's how some people are. Right now, if you were to come into my office, you might be like, damn, this is so much different than the house because I'm not that great. It's something I've had to continue to work on. So, yeah, right. For me, it may not be as easy or as possible because my, my mind doesn't think that way. But for those people who are making those videos, they may be that aesthetically pleasing because it is a brand for them. And some people, they do understand this. Who you are off the, off the camera is who you are. You're going to be found out to be. You can only pretend to be a clean person for so long. You can only pretend to be this person for so long. 
it's going to get found out. People are going to come over your house and be like, damn, you know, it's dirty as hell. And they're going to expose you all over the internet. So some of these women may understand, hey, if, I, if I'm like this every day, anytime I go to film, my room is going to be clean. I'm not going to have to worry about cleaning my room because I do that anyway. I can pop on a camera like that because it's part of my routine. I can show you a picture of me. I can show you uh, me in the bathroom getting ready, ready because I do this every day. I take my shit serious. It's just like people who are in the military. Right. Some people you see who get out of the military, they are that person for the rest of their life. Not everybody, not most of them, but you're going to see that some some men, some women come out. That's who they are. Pristine. Every time you see them, they keep themselves ready in shape and ready to go. Just like we see in basketball players, there's some basketball players who let themselves go There's some who stay in shape. Same thing you see in track, same thing you see in other sports, same thing you see everywhere. So these women may very well be just like that. It's not that they're all fake. And even the ones who are giving you small snippets and maybe they're a dirty ass person off, off, off the camera. Still, to even make it look that good, still to me takes some kind of ability. I think you're, I think she's looking too far into it. She's thinking these women are trying to be fake because they're making little snippets. We all do that. <laughs> you think? Do we all think you look like this every damn day? Of course not. Exactly the same in all of these videos. They wake up at five. They journal. Is this video starting over every time? You to do the things that they are doing much. That's up to you. You get to decide that. When the internet says that girl. They're literally just talking about the one archetype, the one, that girl. She's clean. She's like the clean girl aesthetic. She's pretty. She has nice skin. She's skinny. Baby, know, she's like, all right, I'm going to shut up. I'm going to let it go for a little bit longer. I'm going to shut up. But that is the world who does that. Women, it is not even about being skinny because some of those women I, I showed you earlier were just in shape. They just weren't fat. I hate that when somebody's just not fat, do you have to call them skinny? Some of these women weren't skinny. They were just not fat. You know what I mean? But the world is going to look at that. They're going to obviously, when you see somebody who's pretty, even the same thing with men, even men gravitate towards men who are in shape, who are in great shape. That's just how it goes. I don't know why these women are getting knocked for that. It's pink for some reason. I don't know why that's like tied into that, but she's like girly. She's always girly. Have you seen like a goth that girl routine? Because because yeah. being girly is attractive. I would love, I would love to see that. Please, goth girls, like, please make a that girl routine because it's something different. Everybody can be their own that girl. But anyways. It's not going to garner that many attention, though. I'm sure there are goth girls who do that. But unless they're pretty and attractive and in shape, it's not going to work. Because you can be a goth girl, but if you're in shape and pretty, it's, it's going to work. But if you're not, it's not going to matter if it's goth or not goth. They always have this, the one aesthetic. And in reality, we're all that girl to somebody else. You are that girl to your little sister or even your older sister. You are that girl to your next door neighbor. Whatever. I want to say this. Oh, man, I got to let her talk. I'll let her talk. Is somebody you respect. And you are respected. Somebody respects you. You are valued. You are looked up to. And who cares about that, though? Who cares if your little sister looks up to you? This is either ma'am. These are content creators who give a damn if their little sister looks up to them. That's that, that's not going to work. I get what she's saying, but she's talking about content creators. She's not talking about somebody being that girl that she met at the store. These are the women she is specifically talking about are content creators. So what do you mean? What? What? <laughs> I don't understand why sometimes people give advice to be like, I oh, know you can't be like him. Now, sometimes like I give advice about wealthy people, but it's, I don't talk about wealthy content creators. I talk about wealthy people in the world, but she's talking about these girls who make that girl content. She's not talking about that girl women in real life. She's talking about that girl who makes content. Nobody gives a damn if their sister looks up to them. You know what I mean? That's not how they make moolah. Okay. I just don't get that part. It's like they make content. That's your job. Some people's content is to be aesthetically pleasing. That's amazing. Somebody is looking up to you and going, wow, I want to do what she's doing. Wow, I need to know the things that she is doing because I want to be just like her. 
Because your little sister doesn't know any better. She doesn't know if you're a failure or not. She just thinks you're cool. <laughs> you could be a fucking loser. And she, I try to stop cursing. You could be a loser and your sister can look up to you. That's what I'm saying. Like, who cares? I looked up. You know what? That is an amazing feeling. and that is There's amazing. people who have looked up to me, by the way. And I'm a complete fucking failure at this moment. But there's people who have told me to my face, man, I really look up to you. It's like, why? I'm, n I'm nothing. Completely nothing. <laughs> I'm one of the worst people to look up to right now. I'm just now getting it together. Now, five years from now, maybe you can look up to me and I can be something I could be proud of. But as of right now, I'm just a fat, short loser. I'm not, <laughs> let's not play games. Using knowledge to know. And, and there's little kids who look up to me and it's like, you fucked that one up, brother. Too. You have a responsibility to live up to these expectations. That's great. You are that girl to somebody else. And there's nothing wrong with having a woman to look up to, with having a woman you respect and want to learn from. And shit, it might even be one of these influencers. Okay. There's nothing wrong with that. But okay, so what's the point? Make sure that the habits that you are adopting and the goals you are focusing on are your own. Girl, it is waking up at five, meditating, possibly not all of them meditated. Some of them just worked out. Waking up at five, working out, taking a shower and journaling. You're acting like that is a big ass thing to have to do. Waking up, showering, going to the gym or going to the gym first. So showering, going to the gym, then showering again. I don't know. And then, and then journaling and then maybe eating a healthy meal. Is that like that crazy? I'm confused. I, I, I really am. Is it that? Cr okay. Every time. Okay. The video restarts every time I bring my camera back. That's why I kept doing it. I was like, am I hearing the same thing? Uh, nonetheless, it is not that crazy to me. It's just not. Some mega evil corporation might have. Oh, my God. The fucking marketing. It is being sorry to you have a responsibility. To live up to these expectations. That's great. You are that girl to somebody else. And there's nothing wrong with having a woman to look up to. With having a woman you respect and want to learn from. And shit, it might even be you with somebody else's personality. So develop yourself. Do the things you I'll fix this in the editing. and benefit you. Adopting somebody else's personality doesn't make you them. It just hides you with somebody else's personality. So develop yourself. Do the things you want to do. Okay, so now on to my next big point. What if they want to do that? The marketing. Oh my God, the fucking marketing. It is being shoved down our throats like fuck. They're cramming it down in there. I have a theory that some skincare, green juice, Pilates, mega corporation got together in their like little evil lair and cooked up this scheme and presented it like as a trend. Like, oh, that happens with everything. By the way, almost everything you see that's a trend. Guess what? Somebody's behind it in most cases. Even when it comes down to like guys who are bodybuilders, there's normally some company behind it that is pushing these men. I mean, everybody has to make money, okay? So somebody might be like, hey, I need you. Are we going to pay you $10,000? I'm going to need you to say that you get up at five and do this and do that. And if you, it's going to be perfect if the girl's already in shape. That's why I said being in shape gives you more opportunities. If the girl's already in shape and working out, guess what? She's going to be able to say, hey, guys, I wake up every morning and work out because she really does that. What can we do? Y'all can't assume every woman who's in shape is starving herself. Make women feel like inferior and like they're missing out in their lives. And then they'll buy our products. I know that girl. It's just another little packaging of like clean girl aesthetic. Or it girl or whatever. It girl's gone. They created it to profit off of us. I, mean, I think it girl was worse. Obviously, like that's just some funny theory. Some mega evil corporation might have done it, but probably not. But they're definitely benefiting from it. And even yeah. though these girls aren't like outright saying, oh, this is sponsored, or even if it isn't sponsored, it's still all about consumerism. Excuse me. Consumerism is a theme in all of these videos. 
Some not all of them. But I get your point. It's in the background. And sometimes it's not. But it's always there. It's always present. Why are you? Uh, here's my thing, though. Why are you killing those girls for doing that when YouTubers do that shit all the time? How many big YouTubers do you watch that don't go? And by the way, guys, this video is sponsored by Surfshark. If you want to keep your information, you know, who doesn't do that? Almost every YouTuber who makes money on YouTube has brand deals. Every one of them. And if you go to most most YouTubers, who, I'm talking about the YouTubers who are well, let's just go 50,000 plus. All right, if you go down to the description, guess what they're going to have down there? Hey, here's where I got this camera. Hey, here's where I got this microphone. Hey, do you want something for your skincare? Use this. Hey, uh, if you're a man, this is great skincare. Almost every big YouTuber that I know does that. Very few that I know who doesn't. Only one I can actually name off the top of my head that I know doesn't do sponsorships like that is CoffeeZilla. Hell, Moist Critical does it. I mean, who doesn't do that? So I don't know why they're getting killed for showing you products. I understand consumerism can be a bad thing. But, I mean, we all do it. I don't necessarily uh, do anything at that. I show you guys my cologne, but I never say go buy it. But, hell, I'm not going to sit here and say if a company that I like and trust and I already am a part of, it, let's just say something outrageous. If Stream Deck or Elgato was to come to me and be like, Hey man, can you show more of our stuff? You know, we'll send you free stuff and you know, we'll pay you this much. If you just always, every video mention the mic, mention everything you're using. Of course, of course I'm going to get on here and be like, Hey guys, by the way, this microphone you see right here is the blue Sona by Logitech. You can go buy one right now. They're having a nice little sale. And I think this is one of the best microphones on the planet. I've been using this for over a year and a half. Why wouldn't I do that? I already use the product. So, of course, I'm going to push it out there. Are there people who are going to do that same thing and they don't use the products at all? Yes. But guess what? I've even talked to YouTubers who say, I've asked them, I said, why the hell do you always uh, say that you use this thing? And then and go say, I use Surfshark. And then I use Aura. And then I use... Uh, another vpn and then you also use this vpn how the hell are you using all these vpns and that person just told me i don't okay <laughs> i they pay me i say what i say man they all are exactly the same to me but they pay me i i, I say what they tell me to say they do use a vpn but there's no way you're, they're using five different vpns at the same time it make no sense then there'd be no reason to be on there and say hey guys i use surfshark <laughs> or I can't even think of the other ones right now, but nonetheless. But I'm, I'm just saying there is a game to be played out here. And just because you, I guarantee you the second you start making real money off YouTube, you would be right on here saying the same thing. Guys, do you want to get your mental health better? Well, thank you for today's sponsor, BetterHelp. You'll be right on this bitch doing the same damn thing these girls are doing in your own way. We all do it. It's capitalism. I'm sorry. It starts with you needing some nice clock. Or some supplements or the juicer all of these things and oh it needs to be white or pink in order to match your aesthetic yeah oh and by the way the link is in my bio this juicer literally transformed my life um that's what you get paid to say we all embellish we all embellish if i told you right now i have a blender downstairs that i've been using for about a year and a half if they came to me and said hey trey can you put one our blender you think you know what i'm gonna say Hey guys, I've been using this blender for a while. It's changed my life. And, and you know what? In this case, it has. I've been using that damn blender for a year and a half. I have made homemade so much. I made so many damn smoothies. I made homemade peanut butter. I made homemade cashew peanut butter. I made homemade uh, vegan cheese. I made so many things with this freaking blender. It's that great. I don't understand if somebody gets on and says, this juice has changed my life. Even if it really didn't necessarily change their life, but they use it every day. They actually use it and it makes them money. What the fuck? Like my gut health is healing. My skin is glowing. I got a dream. I had a dream from Jesus saying that this juicer was going to get me. See, that's see, come on now. Been a, like. You're, ha link is in my girl, you're, you're hating girl. You're hating a little bit. Come on now. Just in case you want to get into heaven. Okay. Yeah. Come on now. I get where you're going. You're trying to be funny, but I mean, damn. Everybody's making money off of this. Everyone. Not everybody. Except for you, actually. I shouldn't say that. That's, that's, that's being stupid. I know she doesn't mean everybody. Everybody except for you. You could, though. Get your ass in shape. Start making some videos. You can make money, too, off that same juicer. You're being conned into spending money on something that will transform you. 
We all do that, though. We all not get conned. If you don't want to buy the damn blender, don't. But if somebody says, hey, did you to really help me? Then what's wrong with somebody saying, oh, well, let's see if it does it for me. Just because it's probably not going to work for you because you're not disciplined enough to use a juicer. You're probably not going to do shit with it. That juicer is going to sit there and get dusty. Just because it didn't work for you doesn't mean that they conned you into buying it. They say, hey, it worked for me. Do what the hell you want to do. If you buy this uh, aloe yoga set, you'll go to yoga every day because you feel so cute. No, only you decide if you want to go to yoga. Thank you doesn't matter what you're wearing. Yeah, I mean, like, a cute yoga set is cute and all. It doesn't matter what you're wearing. You don't want to be comfortable. Do you need these that? people don't know shit. These people who don't go to yoga, these people who don't work out, they don't know what to wear. Hell, it's not... I, I think men could get away with it a little bit more. We could just throw on a tank top and some shorts. We'll be fine. It feels great. I, I don't know what it's like to be in gym clothes with a woman. I don't have... I do have man boobs, but I don't have breasts. You know, it's, it's not the same. You know what I mean? Mine stay flat. Mine is all fat. There's no jiggle, jiggle, nothing. You know what I mean? I, I don't know what it's like to be a woman and also go through certain um, um, times and all that. I don't know what it feels like to wear women clothing. I know for me, a shirt... I don't even know, normally have to wear a shirt most times. You know what I mean? I'm cool. That though? No. No, you don't. If you buy this juicer, your whole body will heal and juice will taste great and blah, blah, blah. Your body may heal, though. They have a whole movie and documentaries on people who juice and change their whole life. People who are extremely obese, they may go juicing and smoothing and all this other stuff to get the weight, well, weight down. No. Just eat an orange. See, see, that's the shit. What if you want to eat orange? What if you don't want to eat orange? What if you want orange juice? What are you going to do there? Oh, you know, that juice would come in nanny then. You know what I mean? And eating one. Of You're missing the point. If you read this self-help book, you'll make a million. Like, you know, you're catching my drift. I know. It's all about money at the end of the day. Everybody is selling something. You are always. I'm selling this idea to you right now. See? I'm like not going to make any money off of it. You did though, because you got ad revenue from this video. 85,000 views. You got something. So you didn't make money. Did you not? Because I think this is ridiculous. This video, I, I mean, the channel is monetized. I know it is. Everybody to pay attention to things on the internet. So don't get sucked in. Don't get scammed because a lot of times that's what this is. It's a scam. It's a beautifully packaged, addicting little scam that we love to just get our nubby little fingers into. But it's a scam. You're wasting your money on it. And instead, you can focus on bettering yourself without spending any money. You can do yoga at home with a YouTube video. Or even if like, okay, let's say you are dead set on buying something. Make sure it's something you want to do. Make sure it's something you are interested in doing. But that's the. But if you're being influenced, that's how it works. We all get influenced. Like if I want to watch a girl, if I want to watch a guy work out, and he says, "Hey guys, you don't have. I mean, do what you want, but I use this blender. You know what? I might go out and buy a blender. I mean, damn. And it may be something I want to do. I get you're trying to emphasize, make sure it's something you want to do. Make sure you're not being influenced to do it, but. Come on, man. If it's somebody we enjoy watching, guess what? They're going to be able to influence us. That's how it goes. If it's somebody I don't fuck with, then I, they, there's nothing they can say. Like, don't go buy. People go broke. You know what? A juicer or a Pilates, like, roller or whatever it is. If you're not interested in that kind of stuff. Well, if you're not interested, you won't buy it. Like, I have no interest in juicing. I have no interest in Pilates. Yeah, but see, if, what if you're a fat? What if I'm a fat? I'm a fat guy watching this. What if I was a fat girl watching this? I'd be like, well, bitch, you're, you're not fat. So maybe it, it doesn't mean anything to you. But for me, I'm trying to lose weight. I'm trying to get in shape. So maybe a juicer works for me. But see. I have caught myself getting influenced a few times, though, because it's so beautifully packaged in these videos. That's the point. It's so convincing. They suck you in. And I think we all just need to take a step back and realize, no, we are all our own people. We're not but most do. things work for most people. Let's be honest. Just because it doesn't work for you, we're, most of us are the same. If I tell you this is how you lose weight, guess what? That's going to work for most people. It's not going to work for 2% of people. If I say, hey, 
you know what, break your calories down to this, most people are going to lose weight on that. They are. I would say, hey, man, cut out fast food, junk food, processed food. Try to eat more fruits and veggies and watch your portions. That's going to work for most people to lose weight. It just will. For everybody, of course not. But for most people, yes. You're saying when you say most people, you're acting like every single one of us thinks differently. No, most of us think the same. Most things will work for most people. Do everything that the beautiful girl... Putting on shoes will keep your feet from getting hurt on the rocks. Will that work for everybody? Yeah, no, because some people don't feel pain. Because they have nerve problems. But most people, when they put on shoes, it keeps them from hurting their feet on the fucking rocks. So buy this shoe I told you to buy. Green says that we need to do or need to buy. At the end of the day, do what makes you happy. Whether it's... Mm. Oh, that ain't gonna work. Doing what makes you happy is an absolute way to fail. You need to do what makes you dis I say do what do be as disciplined disciplined as you can. Happiness will come and go. But if you do what makes you happy, most people are gonna fuck that up. Because if I did what I want to do right now to be happy, guess what, man? I'm going right now and I'm gonna eat up everything I want to eat. I'm gonna be lazy as fuck. I wouldn't even go to work because work does not make me happy. I can't do what makes me happy. I need to do what gets me by right now. It's not always about doing what makes you happy. It's doing what makes you the best person you can be at the moment. Because not everybody's going to wake up and want to go exercise because it makes them happy. Nobody's going to want to wake up every day and make sure they don't overeat because it makes them happy. It takes discipline to live this damn life. So that happiness bullshit never worked. Language, spending time with loved ones or friends or like shit, go to a wine tasting. I don't care. Do what makes you happy. It does not matter. Go to a rave. Do your own. Do drugs. Like, obviously. This bitch said do drugs. I'm not calling you, ma'am. I don't know you personally. Okay? When I'm saying that word, it's nothing personal. It's where I don't know who the heck you are. You don't know me. But I know you didn't just say do drugs. And then get on these other women because they told you to use a juicer. But you just said do drugs. What the fuck? I'm lost now. You lost me with that one. Go to a wine tasting. I don't care. Do what makes you happy. She said go to a wine Honestly, tasting. Take a step back and realize, no, we are all our own people. We're not going to do everything that the beautiful girl on the screen says that we need to do. Or need Aren't to you buy. beautiful? Well, you're not beautiful, but you're good. At the end of the day, do what makes you happy, whether it's learning a new language, spending time with loved ones or friends or like shit, go to a wine tasting. I don't care. Do what makes you happy. It does not matter. Go to a rave. Do your own. Do drugs. Like, obviously. What the fuck? Go to a rave and do drugs to be happy, but it's a, it's a bad thing for you to want to watch women who tell you to juice eat healthy, work out, and meditate. But your advice is be happy, go to rave, do drugs? Come on now. The hell are we doing? But it can also quickly lead to burnout. Especially if you work. Or even if all just need to take a step back and realize no, we are all our own people. And sitting in our little retirement community, you are my that girl. Like, obviously... Personally, I didn't say that, but like, do it. go to a wine tasting. I don't care. That's why it's the most replay because people are like, what? Do drugs. Not matter. Go to a rave. Do your own. Do drugs. Like, obviously, personally, I didn't say that, but like, do what makes you happy. You don't need to be this little cookie. No, nah, you meant what you said. Okay. You meant what the fuck you said. If you live a life full of joy, you are my that girl. I look up to you. The fuck you do. Joy. We all want to live a life full of joy. And when we're all old and just like chilling, sitting in our little retirement community, uh, or on the street, lunch together or whatever, you're gonna have memories, fun memories of being in shape. Lines. And you got to do all these and wonderful so things because you were disciplined. You love to share because you've developed yourself. You are your own being. You've developed your own hobbies, interests, likes. The whole shebang. You're not just some copy of somebody else. We all are, so, though. 
Yeah. Everybody is fucking cool in their own way, okay? But we're all copies of somebody, though. We're just all an amalgamation of our environment. I just don't understand why she's so down on that. Most women can't. Most women can't be them. Most women can't stay in shape, wake up at five, shower, journal, meditate. Most women can't do that. Most women are going to get their fat ass up, go to their nine to five, come home and eat and do nothing most of the day. That's why most of us are obese. I've done it. Shit. I used to get up, do nothing, come home, do nothing. It's just how it is, man. That's why we're overweight because we're so undisciplined because we all want to be happy and just do whatever we want. Go to raves and do drugs. No. Discipline matters. Why is it so bad for discipline to matter? I don't get that. Why is it so bad for discipline to matter? Instead of me getting up and doing what makes me happy, which means eating the whole fucking fridge. Uh, you want me to do that? Is that what you want me to do to be happy? You want me to go eat the fucking drugs? I mean, <laughs> go do drugs, eat everything in the house, and then get drunk? That's what makes me happy. Should I do that? Fuck no. Maybe I should learn some discipline. <laughs> That's okay to have. This whole notion of being happy is just stupid. It's so stupid. I used to be the same guy. Do what makes you happy. And I'm fat as hell now. Old and just like chilling, sitting in our little retirement community, eating lunch together thing. And if you want to be like them, that's fine too. You know, some girls love green juices and Pilates and pink things. Beautiful. Go do that. But if you don't like those things, that's fine too. That's that's the whole that would you should have said that in the beginning. Animals on the planet, you know, eating and fucking and whatever it is we do. You're a weirdo. So don't take this bitch is it, this girl just says something about fucking animals. Fucking. Now, what, what can we do with this, people? Seriously, it's like not a big deal. Just do what makes you happy. Okay. Well, I just want to hang now, so I'm gonna go deal with that. Good night, guys. Thank you for listening. Bye. Guys, if you do what happens, what makes you happy, you're fucked. Fucked. Also hey, hey, when I talk, when I talk, you don't talk. Hey, 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 whoa, 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 whoa. Number one of my rules on this channel, you, you can't ever talk to me. It makes a bad show for the audience. Okay. Hey, rest in peace, Kevin Samuels. Goodbye.